In this section, we are going to talk about timer in the simple GUI. So the timer is just one of the functions of the simple GUI. And uh, what the timer, uh, timer is basically doing that in the certain time, in a certain period of time, it will be make some changes. So we will make a function that will be changed or that will be executed in a certain amount of time. So let me just go ahead and see what we have so far and let me just run my code. So right now I have I have my perfect square and I have only one object which is which is text. So let me just go ahead and analyze. So right now we have a text and it says that I want to publish that one which is text over here which is converted text. Let me just go ahead and see. So right now I have a text and that is assigned to the zero. So right now the zero is integer, which is assigned to text. Now we need to convert to the string. That is important because right now in the text, we need to provide string only. And after that, we have a location. The location is provided over here. We have a size and the size is over here and also the color, which is color over here. So that is perfect. And let me just go ahead and start using the timer now. So I will say, as we did over here, you see we made a frame which is variable and we assign it um, uh, a function which is from the simple GUI to the frame. So this time I will say make uh, I will say timer. The so timer is equal to simple GUI and I will create, you see it's almost same that we had with the frame. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So right now I have a simple GUI and from the simple GUI, I will say to create a timer. So right now I need to put the different arguments over here. So the first argument is, uh, so, how long you want to keep the time? I mean, uh, in which period of time you want to execute some files? So for example, I will say 1000. So this 1000 is stands for the millisecond, or I can say that is the one second. So if you put the 1000, so that means it's one second only. And now I need to give a function that is going to be executed. So let me just say time. You see, so this function that belongs to the simple GUI and this time that we are going to create right now. And since we created the timer uh, here, we need to start this timer. So now I can say the timer start and as we did over here, a frame and the timer. Now, we specify that we want to run this time function. So we need to define it somehow. So I will say my time is equal to and go ahead. So right now, what I want to do is I want to change my text. Do you remember in the beginning I had my frame, I had a zero in the middle. So by the time, every single second, I want to change the text. I want to change the zero. So after one second, it will be count one. After that, it will count two, three, four. And I, I want to add it up. So right now, before making any changes, I need to say that, hey, this text must be changed now. I will say global text. So what does it mean? So right now we are telling Python that we want to make some changes on the text. And now I will say my new text, it's not a zero anymore. I want to assign something else. I will say add one on the text. Or let me just show in a different way. I will say the text is equal to text plus one. You see, what does it mean? So my text used to be zero. I will add one and right now my text is one. And after one second again, it will come back. It will add another one, which is going to be two. So let me run and let's see what is going on now. So in the beginning it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. You see, and it will keep adding unless we close it. Or let me just play a little bit with this time. What if I will say I want to make not a thousand, I want to make a 500. That means it's a half of seconds. Or I can say that is a 500 milliseconds. So if I run it, it will be a little faster now. And if you want to make it look a little bit faster, so what I can do it instead of 500, I can say 100 if I run it. And yes, that is fast. So that means uh, in every uh, in every uh, 100 millisecond, do a time. And what is the time? The time is defined here, and we want to change the text, which is over here. 
So that is how the timer is working. Let me give you another sample. So right now uh, I have another lines of codes right now. So let me just run and let's see what is going on. I have my frame. I have a one object, which is circle over here. So using time uh, right now, what I want to do is I want to change the location of this circle, which is going to be randomly. So what I can say that right now I have my circle and the position is already the set is over here. So so then my radius is over here, it's over, which is already uh, set and the colors and so on and so on. So what I can do is, so since I want to just randomize the position in a certain amount of time, so what I can say that uh, I need to import my random library now. So right now I will say that I want to set my timer, which is new timer, from the simple GUI I want to create a timer. Oops. Uh, and I will say that every one, one second do a time and the start time now. I will say timer, start and close it open. So right now I need to define my time because we told that hey, after one second do a time. And what is the time is? I will say let me just define, let time. So right now what I need to change, I need to change the position. So right now I will say that global position, global position, uh, by the way, why it is red. Okay, global position. And here I will say that my new position, you see my new position, it's not the middle of the frame now. I will say that which is equal to, and let me put, I will say from the uh, random library, ran integer so my frame is a 500 by 500 i will say from zero all the way to the 500 so what does it mean that is my x value so you see right now my position was the middle of the frame on the x value and the mid of the uh, frame on the y values and now on the x axis i will say randomize it and that is my range which is from the zero all the way to the 500 and let me just copy and pass it over here so right now it is going to generate random from here and generate random from here so let me just run and let's see how it looks like so after every single second it just randomized the position and it's it's it is it is working now so let me just go ahead, I will do a little faster, let me just take it 100 milliseconds and let's see how it looks like. So right now, in a certain amount of time, it's just changing the position and the, the positions are randomly generated.